muscle memory for the soul. <laughs> That's the title of your new book, right? <laughs> <laughs> and you can be great and you can be <laughs> Man, that is that is such a great thing and what a what a tribute to your to your parents. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Nowhere strong enough for what they deserve. You know, my father said something to me. Um, I love telling this story. I tell it a lot, so forgive me to all the people here on the crew that may have heard this a hundred times, but it's my mother's 80th birthday. All of us come in for her 80th birthday. I have three brothers. I had three brothers that were preachers, and my sister was a social worker, and then I don't know what I am. So we're all in order um, paying tribute to my mother, right? And so these are preachers. Um, I'm the youngest, we're going youngest to oldest. And with each layer, each one of them is adding more stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's 20 minutes, 10 minutes, 20, 30. I mean, there, we get to my oldest brother and he's like, and mother, you were the greatest. And he does this whole thing. My mother gets up and she decides to match them, <laughs> right? So she goes through each of the children. Awesome. Halloran, when I gave birth to you, you were breech and it was painful. And she goes through her whole thing. So, um, we're two hours into this celebration. And finally, my father, who was 82 at the time, I asked him to come up and give remarks. Mm -hmm. So he was on his walker. Uh, my mother had a green walker. He had a red walker, <laughs> Ferrari, minivan. <laughs> so grabs his Ferrari, shuffles up. My father had Parkinson's, which affected his confidence. I didn't realize that. He didn't want to say a lot. He never said a lot anyway. So he's standing at the podium and he's shaking. I said, Dad, how would you sum up you know, at that point, close to 60 years of marriage and 80 years of living. And how would you sum all of this up? It took us two hours to get to this moment. And Daddy um, looked at, at all of us and he said, remember, the answer to everything is love. And then he got in his Ferrari and- Keep it simple. Went back to his <laughs> and. When I heard when I heard Daddy kind of summarize the power, the life changing power of love, right? I asked him about that. Mm -hmm. I said, Dad, why did you say that? He said, It's true. He said, the most intractable problem in the history of the universe was man's separation from God. We broke his planet. We broke the the promise. And when they're engineering a solution to rescue the universe. The master strategy was love. And if love could fix a broken world, what couldn't it fix? Mm -hmm. So you told me, hey, I'm not the best guy in the world. I was here, there, and everywhere, whatever. And I'm thinking about your father's and mother's love for you. Mm -hmm. And how it brought you back to who you really are. And my siblings, too. As well, I mean, the whole, the whole family love. unit, yeah, absolutely. I mean, my older sister, my three older brothers, you know, having a safety net makes it a lot easier to take chances. The healing force of love is a powerful thing. It is, it absolutely is. And it's the only thing that's gonna save us as a species as far, a species as, far as I'm concerned. It's love, isn't it? Absolutely, absolutely, and what, respect. What do you wanna say to your mom and your dad? No, oh, gosh, just, Thank you for everything. I mean, you know, I couldn't be who I am today, and I'm just sorry I'm not even more than I am today because you would have made it possible. Hey, what kind of console do you mix on? You know, I'm a, I'm a dinosaur. You know, these kids are coming out with all the digital stuff and everything, and I'm going to, you know, I'll give you hands down. Convenience-wise, digital beats you every time. But for quality, I like my old analog. Um, for live shows, uh, probably my preference is a My Midas XL4 or a Midas Heritage 3000, and uh, the big old the big old behemoths, you know. Things you like turning fossil. the knob. Oh, you don't because I it. see these new guys. They just press a preset. They it, just go boop, yeah. and all the faders yeah. go here, yeah. and then they get yeah. their iPad and mm -hmm. they walk around. And it's and amazing what they can do today. I mean, I'll admit it. I mean, the the technology has changed so much in the 20 years that I've been 20 plus years I've been doing it. And I'm out of the loop in a lot of it because I haven't gone back to school and kept up with it. It's kind of hard to do that when you're working full time. But um, and these kids can run circles around me on certain ways, but yet it cracks me up how time. Quick antidote: Crosby, Stills and Nash, 25th anniversary Hall of Fame show, Madison Square Garden. Okay, we do a few days of rehearsals at SIR in New York before, and it was like old roadies homecoming. 
right. seeing guys you haven't seen for years. I'm off in my studio by myself with my front of house set up, the band's across the hall working with monitors and we're rehearsing. Guy after guy comes in and says, hey, good to see you, Greg, good to see you. Come on, man, get with the times. You know how many seats your console is gonna take up? Oh no, okay, come on, man, break with the technology. I'm like, yeah, 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 fine, fine, fine. Quality, you guys take your convenience and I'll take my quality I, uh, right. every day. Show starts, CSN comes out, blows the audience away. Probably one of the best shows they ever had since when I was working with them. Felt so great, love it. Audience going crazy. Steven Wonder's up after us next. His guy's using the con a digital console. I'm not gonna say the type because I don't want to upset right. anybody, but he's using a digital console. Right out of the gate, it locks up. He has no control of the mix for the first five minutes of the set. Now, I like to think I'm a nice guy, but I couldn't help it when I'm walking by and say, hey, yeah, good to see you again. By the way, mine worked fine. I'm done with it. Feel free. <laughs> you should have walked by with a Motorola brick phone going, hey, how do you like that new yeah. iPhone? <laughs> yeah, but I get a lot of teasing for not keeping up with it. But yeah, I tell you, no, it's but physics. It's, it's, it's the, physics. It's the service of the sound. It's, it's your artist and your audience. I, and whatever gets you there, gets you, you there. know, there's artists that I have used little digital boards with, and I'm not going to belittle their art at all. But some of the artists, are, if, if I have the choice, yeah. if I'm going to be entrusted with their art, I'm going to run it through the best sounding stuff I can get my hands on. Do you have a lot of vinyl? Do you listen to records? Um, I have some vinyl. I don't have a whole lot in all my years of moving all over the place and everything. It's a shame yeah. what I've let go. And, and But yeah, as I get older, I'm actually, I'd love to get myself a good half inch or even a two, two inch, you know. Here. Now, let me ask you this one final question. Um, if you could only take one album with you. Oh, my God. If you could only take one album with you, just one, you just get to take one. I, that's, that's probably one of the hardest questions I could ever think of looking through all of them. I don't know that I could pick just one. I mean, I'd want my Rachmaninoff. I'd, I'd want Genesis Lamb's Lies Down on Broadway. I'd, you know, you, you, there, there's at least a half dozen that I couldn't trade one for the other. All right, we'll let you take 12, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for being here, man. Uh, my pleasure. Thank you. Thanks.